I've been thinking a lot about procrastination recently and the different levels of procrastination. You know, a lot of you may just be on level one procrastination and that's okay. I think most, most of the world is probably on level one procrastination, which is, you know, you're procrastinating. You feel guilty, you know, procrastinating, but you do it anyway. And it's really obvious when you're procrastinating, like, you know, you need to do something. You feel like, you know, you need to do something and you don't do it. Yeah. You consciously decide to skip schoolwork or put off work or put off making a call or whatever it is and instead escape into instant gratification and trick yourself, del delude yourself into thinking that the problem um, isn't a problem and you'll go away and things of that nature. But you know you're procrastinating and it doesn't feel good. At my current stage in life and where I am, I am beyond stage one procrastination. So I've got the discipline and I've got the energy and I've got the go pathways to work, you know, all day pretty much fill my time up. I can fill my time up. But that's, I guess, when you start reaching the next level of procrastination. And that is busy work, working hard versus working smart and efficiently. And it's a pretty multifaceted concept. But working smart has a lot to do with actually having the discipline to say no. So I've got the discipline to say yes, I can, I can do things all the time. I've got the energy to do things. But do I have the discipline to say no, the no pathways to say, have a thought about, oh, maybe I should do this and be like, I see you, I recognize you, maybe I write you down, and then I let you go. And that's something that I'm working on now. It's definitely harder for me to suppress ideas and to suppress energy than it is to put energy forward and do things. So. what I've been working on to combat this procrastination, this new procrastination where I can spend eight hours in a day doing something, but is that the most important work? Is that the best use of time? Is it the best use of eight hours I, I could use? And no, I don't think it ever has been or ever will be, but I can get closer to that. And that's, that's something that motivates me a lot is that there is no such thing as the best or perfection, best use of eight hours, best use of time. So there's no ceiling really. You can always improve your efficiency and how you use your time. So how do we get closer to getting a day's work in one hour? How do we get closer to working smart? Because as hard as it is to admit, smart work beats hard work every day of the week. But if you want to be the best at what you do, you need smart work and hard work. So how do we get better at working efficiently?
I'm working on prioritization. That's what I'm doing. That's how I'm getting closer to knowing what's the best use of time. I think it comes down to a lot of thinking instead of doing it. It comes down to thinking what is most important to me right now? What do I want the most? and what tasks they're gonna get me there. So what I've been working on with my agency is, I've got a list of a lot of things I could be doing right now. A lot of things I could be doing. As any business owner knows, you can improve anything, but I'm trying to clearly set a project, say, set up my Facebook ad manager. That's a, that's a clear project, right? And put that on a list. And then there's another project, get my logo designed. And which one of those is getting me, or is more important to me right now? And I'll put one above the other. Say I put graphic design logo and creative, um, creative assets. I put that above Facebook ad manager. Well, then I don't spend any time doing Facebook ad manager and I go full focus on graphic design. And that's a really simplified version of what I'm experimenting with. But really when I have an idea or a new project comes up before I act on it, I kind of just think, okay, how long is this going to take? If this is going to take more than five to 20 minutes, I'm going to put this on a list. I'm going to throw it into my prioritization list find a spot for it, throw it there and forget about it and keep focusing on my top item until that top item is completed or that top item is topped by a more important task. And I think that is how I'm getting much closer to using my time as efficiently as possible rather than just like whatever comes up, just work on that, whatever comes up and then switch focus, work on that, work on that. And you can work all the time, but I'm at the stage where I can work hard, but my most, the biggest benefits are gonna come from working smart. So prioritization, that's huge. And the second one is planning. So the night before, every night before I go to bed, I write down my plan for the next day. And that helps me organize when I'm gonna be working I don't say what I'm going to be working on during those blocks of work time. I say where I'm going to be working and that's it. So I got my whole schedule. I know what I'm doing the next day and it's all ready. And while I sleep, my brain starts working through how are we going to problem solve? All right, how are we going to do this? And while I'm writing down that plan, I know I got the feeling of if this is too hard, let me rearrange things. Let me make it not so feel so difficult so that every day I know going into the next day, yeah, I'll be able to do this. It won't be that hard. And I'll be able to really use the most out of my day. And going along with the planning the night before, you know what you need to do, what, what events you have, and what your plans are, what activities you, you wanna get done. And then you can organize your day around those in the most efficient way. It's really great, so yeah that's what I'm experimenting with now to combat stage two of procrastination, which is just staying busy, but not doing the most important work. And I, I just have this feeling that if I can work all day and I can do the most important work that whole time, and that's what I'm, my, all my energy is going toward is only the most important thing right now that I'm going to be making weeks or months worth of progress, what it takes other people weeks or months to do every day. And you do that, I do that for six months, even to do that for three months, I do that for six months, I do that for a year and I look back, I'm like, holy shit, like, wow. How have I come this far this quickly? That's the goal, or that's the, that's the, the hope or the direction not necessarily a goal, um, but yeah, prioritization, planning, prioritization list, 
and planning the night before. That's those are my tactics for combating stage two procrastination, the higher level procrastination. Uh, if you got any tips, anything that's helped you with procrastination, working smart, being efficient with your time, figuring out really what's the most important thing to be working on, then go ahead and leave that in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. And I'm sure anyone else that's that's here, that's watching, that, that reads the comments, they would greatly appreciate your input as well. So talk to you guys later.